Today we're going to talk about how to join and use Pinterest, an exciting new social media platform that Toner Doll has just started exploring. Uh, first thing to do is go to Pinterest.com and uh, there you'll see the Join Pinterest button. Click Join Pinterest and you're given three ways to join. Through your Facebook account, your Twitter account, or just through uh, email address. We're going to join through Facebook because it allows us to find uh, friends we already know that are on Pinterest really easily. Just type in a username that's unique. And if you'd like, you can change your associated email address. I'm going to um, put in my Gmail address. And then um, type in a tough password. Before you create your account, uh, check or uncheck these Facebook settings, which will um, tell Pinterest what they can publish to your timeline. And if you don't want your Facebook photo to be part of your um, user profile, you can upload a photo uh, from your computer. Um, click Create Account, and you're on Pinterest. You'll be taken to a screen that asks for you to follow five boards. Um, Boards are a collection of pins that are under a particular theme. Um, it really doesn't matter what you follow at this point because you can unfollow a board really easily. Um, but go through the categories there and when you click one, like here, Animals, you'll be taken to popular Pinterest boards. Uh, I'm going to quickly follow five to get my account going. Um, when you're done, just click Next, which is in the upper right hand corner and you'll be taken to your Pinterest wall, which will have pins from the five boards you followed. Um, wall is a great place to spend time uh, browsing. Um, so you want to really put together uh, a great following of boards and people, so you always have something exciting to look at. Um, when you go to your own account, you'll see it's empty. Um, you might want to, though, Start looking for other boards of interest for you. Uh, today we're talking about Tonner Doll, so we're typing Tonner Doll into the search box. And this will take us to uh, a wall of pins that are Tonner Doll pins, They're individual uh, photos or uploads. But by clicking boards on the right hand side, we're going to be taken to a wall of boards that have been specifically. Uh, theme to Tom at all. Um, so you can browse this wall. We're going to follow a few here. Um, almost all of these are great content. You just kind of scroll down. And what you're doing here is you're saying that anytime somebody pins to one of these boards, we want that pin to enter into our Pinterest wall. Um, we have some doll dual boards. And there's an archive board from the Todd and Doll Company. Another thing uh, you want to do after this is maybe find a full people to follow, not just boards. And here we're going to type in our company name, Todd and Doll Company, and go and click Pinners, which is, you'll find there is only one of us, Todd and Doll Company. And by following, you're saying that you want to follow all of our boards. Click on the top and you'll be taken to our account. And uh, there are all our boards there for you to browse. The next thing to do is to find people to follow. Um, if you go to your profile drop down and you click find friends and you've entered uh, through Facebook, you'll be taken to people that pin from your Facebook friends. Uh, in this case here, I see Jason Riley who's um, lead designer at Toner Toys, follow him. Um, I see Chef Gina, a uh, food maker. When you follow somebody again, you're following all their pins. All their pins will um, go to your stream. Here, Charlie Riley, she's somebody I would follow full out, but I'm going to use um, her as an example of you can just follow particular boards that somebody does because sometimes they're. Um, you're only interested in some of their content. Uh, I follow a bunch of their boards. I 
go hit the Pinterest key at the very top, check out how my wall is looking, and there are some toners from the walls that I've been, the boards that I've been following. And here's how to start pinning. Just click pin on any pin that you like. Um, because you don't have a board to pin to, you want to type in the name of the board. In this case, Fantastic Toners. And write a short description um, about what you think about the pin. Actually, a long description is even better, but I'm going to do it short here just to save time. And click pin it. And we'll go to another one, another precarious. I'm going to change the description a little bit. Red is perfect. And pin it. Now what happens if I want to pin something that's not too fantastic toners? In this case, it's hummingbirds. You click on the board, and there you see there's a create board option. So here I'm going to type in animals beauty. Click create and a short description. And now I've pinned this hummingbird to a new board. And boards are kind of like albums or scrapbooks for a particular content that you like. I'll pin another hummingbird to animals. Write my own little description. And I'll pin it there. Now let's see. I'm going to go up to my account at the top of the drop down. Click your pins. And you'll see the four pins I made with the associated boards beneath. If you click the board title, you'll be taken to the board itself. The last thing to talk about is uh, the way to browse um, Pinterest through their categories. Here's the celebrities page. We just, um, up in the left hand corner, you'll see the different categories there. A great one is the gifts category. You can look for gift ideas. Um, you can see that these pins have uh, prices in the upper right hand corner, which means they've been um, taken from websites and have, are for sale. You can go to the original website uh, by clicking website on any pin uh, if you'd like to purchase that item. It's a great way to kind of fantasy shop, window shop, or shop for real. Um, but be sure to look through the categories that Pinterest has. These are some of the best pins that you'll be seeing, pins that have received a lot of these pins and likes. So happy pinning, everyone. We hope to see you over on Pinterest. Tonardoll should be doing some pretty exciting things over there, so be sure to follow us.